Hey folks, Tones her back, another ace tanker in the SU-120T44. And today we're on Berlin, and I want to look at the team lineups. There's three Arties on each team. This is Encounter. So I assume, I don't want to go just camp somewhere and uh, fire and then get lit and get just destroyed by Arties. So I've decided I'm going to go into the town, into the heavy side, and see what we can get done there. Now, someone almost always crosses over to the cap, right? So my first position is going to always going to be looking for a shot towards someone that's crossing towards the cap. Because, quite honestly, if you can get a shot into them, it's for free, especially from this position that we're in. And our Wolverine does move up and allows us to push forward. Now, one thing you'll notice, this is a short tank. So I've got a little adjustments to do here in order to get shots. And that's fine. We're going to go ahead and take some blind shots here in the meantime while our binos set up. And we're just going to sit here and wait for someone to cross. And here's our first customer. We're able to hit this Firefly. The thing about the Firefly is that it's one, it's slow. And two is as we're trying to get a shot that we're never going to hit. And two is that uh, it's got a pretty good gun. You know, um, the turret is kind of okay on it. But to cross the middle like that is just absolute suicide. So it tells me that person probably is not the greatest of players, right? And so we're, we're looking, we're thinking of taking some more blind shots. Um, but we're kind of waiting to see if anyone else pushes into the cap. But... Nobody does, so we're going to go ahead and turn to our attention towards the heavy. It's 0 to 2 right now. And this, uh, I call it a Wolverine. It's the M10 RBFM or whatever it's called. He kind of makes a mistake, right? And with this thing behind you, you're going to die real quick. So I hear the fire from the KV-2, right? He's fired. So I know I've got 20 seconds at least. And, and so instead of firing in first person because that wall was in the way and I wanted to make sure and hit him, I decided I was going to fire that in third person. Now we're coming up here. We're thinking maybe we can help get some shots on the OI. But in reality, there are wrecks everywhere around us. So we decide not to do that. And I see this T-29 kind of a little bit in the open. You know, he's open for Artie if our Artie was out in the field, but our Artie isn't. So we've got a Cheeto here and we've, you know, we've got a minute and a half to reset cap, right? But this T-29 fires, and I didn't know he had the 90 mil gun. I probably wouldn't have pushed here. But I can just out-DPM him for days. And we're able to angle our armor. And I want you to watch. See, I move off to the side because I know I've got a chi -ri behind me. And I want that chi -ri to be able to get shots. And so we're going to push in towards the cap now after we bullied a top-tier heavy. And suddenly, they put another guy on cap, and we've got 21 seconds. And I am the only guy that's probably fast enough to get into that cap in time. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead for the cap and our 1800 damage. At, and now, this is dangerous because there are three arties alive. But someone's got to make the move, and I know that I can bully this super hellcat and I should have loaded HE there I should have loaded HE on my way there at, because we've low rolled and now this guy has survived but nevertheless we're gonna just push in here kill off the firefly that we hit at the start of the game and get already stay already safe right so we turned a game that was definitely going to be a loss into a winning game as our T-29 is enjoying artillery fire. 
Okay, so there's not much left. There's just the three Arties and a T67. And I happen to know that because there he is, right? So with the T67, I'm out in the open for Artie, right? So most of the time you would not want to um, put your tank to where the enemy can see all of it. But my advantage is that he's going to very un be very unlikely to penetrate me. And I want to see more of his tank. So that's why I climbed up. Now there are three artilleries left. So we've got four kills and we're pushing hard. We want to go after this arty, right? And our T29, for whatever reason, is capping, probably because he was being arty to death. And at this point, he probably figures, well, now that he's unlit, it looks like he is pushing. So we're just going to push right into this guy. We're not even going to fix our stun. And lo and behold, there's another artillery. So we're able to pick up two arty kills and our top gun. That's 3,300 damage, 400 assist. And let's just go ahead and fast forward this because we do not get the last kill. The uh, T29 says to let the SU have him, which is really nice, but, you know, people don't listen. That, it's fine. I got my top gun. I'm happy we do not get a shot on this guy. And that is the end of the game. Let's go ahead and look at the after action on this quick ace tanker. Well, we are, we are at the after action. We did get an ace tanker. We ended up with the Pascucci's, a top gun, a high caliber, and a defender medal in this map. For our 3,363 damage, 6 kills, 1,269 base XP, top of the team. Our T29 looks like he did pretty well too. So, uh, 13 shots, 12 hits, 12 pens, and we ended up with 400 assists. So that takes us up to 3,700 combined. We're, we're actually very happy with that in a tier 7 TD. 23,000 credits. Uh, we did have to resupply some consumables, so we would have made a little bit more had that not been the case. And we got uh, an event mission reward for 3,500 total experience. So I appreciate you guys watching. We will catch you guys on the next one. Tonester out.